Once you've gained access to Bloom's literature, you will see that you have a basic search box. You can type in search terms into that box. You also have some most highlighted or highlighted studied authors here. You have studied works, studied characters, etc. That's all stuff you can browse. You can also to the right have uh, an index for the authors listed in this collection, characters, a work index, and then various essay topics and other resources. Typically, you're going to just go to your search box and type in your search term. I'm going to look for studies about Edith Wharton. When I click on the search button, I'm going to see that I have a list of results. It defaults, in this case, to reference materials. Uh, these are materials from a variety of different sources. They're going to be uh, biographical in nature. They might have different encyclopedia entries. And the way you can evaluate these resources is to look at the source. In this case, this is an Encyclopedia of American Short Story. It's a two-volume set. And this is going to be an entry that you can click on and, and view. If you're not interested in short stories by Edith Wharton, you may want to skip that one. We have a student encyclopedia of great American writers. We have an encyclopedia of American literature, etc. You'll also see that you have other options along this top toolbar. You have criticism. So this is going to be literary criticism about works written by Edith Wharton. We have 156 of those. You have literary works. In this case, some of the authors that will be listed in Blooms are outside of uh, public, or they're inside uh, public domain, which means that their works can be displayed in a source like this. So this is a primary source document, and it has a short story called Experience. You have early short fiction of Edith Wharton. You have some images, timelines, etc. The main area you're going to want to pay attention to is that criticism area. You'll see that to the right, they have some ways to nar narrow within the last 10, 30, or 50 years. Again, with literature topics, uh, the date doesn't matter as much because the conversations you have within literature can cross decades. It doesn't have to be up to date or current, quote unquote, as it does with the sciences or health. Again, you'll see you have access to a lot of these. Here we have uh, Edith Wharton and the ghost story. So let me take a look at that one just to show you an example of what you're getting here. To the right, you'll have the record information. This is going to be where the uh, essay was originally published, when it was published, uh, maybe republished, et cetera, and the original source. You'll scroll down, you'll see that this is a substantial essay. And at the very bottom, you're going to have uh, the record URL. This is, should be a permanent link that will take you directly to this resource again if you need it. At the top, you'll see that you can save this item, you can print, you can share it to social media, download a copy, or you can click on the citation, which should give you some various formats you can select. And then you would copy, highlight, and then copy that by right-clicking on your mouse uh, and, and select copy, and you can paste it into your works cited. That is essentially the overview of Bloom's literature. You do have some advanced search options you can investigate, but in order to get into the resources, you really just need to know who you're looking for and what works they uh, have written that you're interested in studying. I hope that helps gives you a, give you a little uh, step into this, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact a Lincoln Land Community College librarian. Thanks a lot.